I'm Anil Kumar and in this video I'll take a few distance time graph. We'll try to understand how to read them, how to describe them and even how to sketch them. Right? So let's begin by plotting few distance time graphs. So let us say uh, uh, we have coordinate axis, distance and time. We'll take uh, time along the x-axis, let's say time and along the y-axis we can take distance okay normally you'll find some units here let's say time is in seconds and distance is in meters for example okay this normally will be a zero value we'll call this as the origin and let me sketch a graph here and we'll try to describe that particular graph so let's say we have a straight line moving like this from a point slightly away from the origin right now how do we read this kind of a graph this is what we are going to discuss we could have a rising line we could have a line which falls kind of like this straight line uh, okay again distance and time there could be different units for distance and time remember that we could even have a horizontal line so this is when we have straight lines, maybe rising, falling or horizontal. You may also see curved lines in distance time graph, kind of like this, right? These lines may start from the origin, right? So kind of like this and then turning like this, okay? Or like a parabola, right? We could have like this also. So these are different variations which you are going to see when you deal with distance time graph and that should cover 99% of graphs which you're going to look at correct so I'll put different units here uh, let's say time is in seconds distance is in meters times could be in hours distance could be in kilometers right or uh, we could have miles we could have miles as the distance and time in hours okay so these are different units which you might see in your examples now the idea is how to describe them here as you can see we can say that the object is moving away as the time passes at a constant the street if you find the slope is constant do you see that so what you observe here is constant slope now in any graph of distance and time uh, slope refers to speed so here we'll introduce another thing which is slope is related to speed right now speed is always positive it could be uh, like going away from a point or towards the point that's a different story so if it is going away the distance increases if it is coming towards the distance decreases that's the whole idea right so here to describe the very first one we can say object is moving away at a constant speed so we write here object moving away at constant uh, every weighted at speed is that okay so object moving away at constant speed and object starts from a distance away right it is not starting from origin that could be uh, also a part of your description right okay now in this particular case what do you observe distance decreases right so we observe that distance decreases as the object moves closer closer at a constant speed right so in these cases when you have straight lines on distance time graph speed is constant how about this so here you see let's say distance is in meters and and time is in minutes now in this case what you observe is 
distance is same so you can say object is at rest is it okay it is not moving correct so that straight horizontal line means not moving no change in distance right so you say no change in distance now I'm using all these different keywords for you to help understand how to describe distance time graph that's the whole objective of this particular video and I hope these terms are clear right now let's move into the second half where the curves are there no straight lines as you can see now let me show you what type of curves I've drawn this type of a curve we'll call this as concave up we call this curve like this do you see this thing coming up concave up so the curve is concave up now you can say this part is concave up right going upwards on the other hand this part is concave down this part is concave down so let me write these two terms we are saying concave up this is combination of concave up and down is it okay so up first and then down now based on this we can say increasing and decreasing so now look at the description which I'm going to give here so here we say oh that the moving away at an increasing speed so so we can say object it's like speeding up so object moving away at increasing speed right so this is the case of speeding okay now in this particular case what you observe that the object moves away at increasing speed and then slows down right so so here moving away at increasing speed and then slowing down so the slowing down part is identified by this concave down kind of portion do you understand and moving away with increasing speed is like concave up part shown here this part so that is how you have to see these curves okay now what about the last one here how do we say this now here what you observe is that the distance increases right so let me use a different ink all together it's concave down I'll use the green color just to identify with this all it increases distance increases and then it approaches towards zero so what do you say here so you could say moving away at decreasing speed so we can say moving away at decreasing speed and then what happens after this after this is kind of stopped temporarily so we say stops for a moment right so we can say stops or stopping for a moment that is a turning point so this is because of the turning point right let me write TP a turning point stop for a moment and then coming back with increasing speed so then coming back with increasing speed you see it is this is the curve which shows higher and higher because if I draw a tangent the slope the rate of change is zero but here rate of change is more than zero right it may be negative speed is always taken as positive speed is absolute value always positive so anything which is not zero is greater than zero <laughs> so it is increasing speed as you go think like this if you throw a stone 
Its speed decreases as it goes down to zero, but while coming down, it comes with a very high speed. So that shows a path of a stone or a ball thrown upwards, correct? So that is how you could actually describe these distance time graph. I hope the description is absolutely clear. You can actually go back and go through this description. Based on this, we have a few questions for you. Is sketch graph for a given situation. So let's see the situation. Anil leaves home walking at a constant, walking at a steady speed pace. He slows down, then stops for a few seconds. He returns and run home at a constant speed. So we have to sketch graph of this given situation. Okay. Uh, you can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. So let's make a graph, distance time. Okay. Okay. So let's say the units time is in minutes and distance is in meters. Okay. So this Anil walks, Anil leaves home walking at a steady pace. So let's say, let me use a different ink. So home, let's say starting at the origin. So Anil leaves home walking at a steady pace. So the distance increases as he walks away at a steady pace. He slows down. That means the graph slope becomes lesser, slows down, right? So the slope is lesser for showing slows down, then stops. Stops means horizontal. Do you see horizontal? Then stops for a few seconds. So much, much shorter, okay? He returns and run home at a constant speed. Run means very fast. So let's so steep kind of like this. Do you see that? So that could be the graph. So the first leg of this shows steady pace, right? The second slows. The third stop. And this is a run back. So the distance decreases uh, as Anil runs back home, correct? So that is the kind of journey which could be described with the help of distance time graph. I hope that's absolutely clear. Go through this video and also follow the links which I'm showing on the top to understand this topic better. Thank you for watching. Feel free to subscribe and post comments. Great.